Well, I owe it to the people who, uh, who decided to make me their prime minister for 22 years. I owe them a debt, and I thought that I should continue to support them because these were the very people who supported me before. I had to say thank you to them and help them uh, continue to win elections. Will you ever stop? Well, uh, I find uh, we doing things interesting, keeps me alive. Now this election is very interesting. I mean, there is the possibility that your party or your coalition, Barisan, could lose an election for the first time ever. Does that seem like a real possibility to you? It will be closer than uh, it used to be in the past. But uh, the idea that the opposition is going to win is a little bit far-fetched. Don't you think it would be good for Malaysia now, after 56 years, to have a different party in power? Yes, I think it would be good if that party is good, a good party and capable. I think uh, in this case, uh, we find that this opposition made up of three parties which have nothing in common which is pulling in three different directions. And then we have this uh, party led by Anwar Ibrahim. I think in the eyes of the foreigners, he's a suitable candidate for prime minister, but not in the eyes of Malaysians. His uh, moral character is uh, not something that they like. What's wrong with him? <laughs> well, uh, of course, in England, uh, sodomy and men wearing men and women marrying women But are he was acceptable. acquitted of those charges by the courts. No, those charges are not made for nothing. They, he was found guilty. He wasn't. The, the, the conviction was overthrown and his sec, the second charges were... No, no, no. He was acquitted on those. You should read the, the findings of the court. There were three uh, members of the court, appeal court. One upheld the, the finding that he was involved in sodomy. The other two say that on that particular day, in that particular place, this thing did not take place. In the eyes of the law, he's innocent. Yeah, in the eyes of the law, he's innocent, but in the eyes of the people, he is not. I mean, you focus a lot on, on his personal characteristics. That makes people think it's, it's a personal vendetta. But it's come from you as well as from, from Anwar Ibrahim that people have resorted to being really quite unpleasant about each other. Well, he starts off by saying all kinds of things that he wants to do to me, and my followers do not like that. But couldn't you rise above it and, and, and not join no, in with we, these comments about it? we talk about, about other things, but foreign observers do not want to see other things. They want to see this personal clash. Supposing he wins the election and becomes prime minister, what will happen to your position They're then? Too bad for Malaysia. And you? Oh, well, he has promised that uh, he will drag me to jail. Do you think he will? Plain. He wished that I'm dead. He, this is public speech by him. He wished I'm dead, but uh, he says that he will take action. You're from a, an older generation of Asian leaders, of, of powerful personalities who helped build their countries. Do you think Asia still needs strong leaders? I still think Asia needs strong leaders. You know, uh, they like to be democratic, but they don't really understand democracy.